New World Beta in 40 Minutes apply on Steam Store page. Uh, listen. I've decided a while ago it's gonna take a special kind of game for me to test their game for free, okay? I like to play games when they're done. I don't want to do their fucking work because they're too cheap to fucking pay for people to test their game. Alright? Thank you. I don't do beta fucking tests. It's annoying. Especially when you have to pay for beta. That's even fucking worse. Like, guys, paying for early access. You, you are testing their game for them. You're working for them and you're paying for it. How did we get to this point? How? How did we go from buying finished games to paying companies to test their fucking games? Amazing. Which game? Every game. Every game does it. Every single, like look, every single game. There's a beta. Most of them you can pre-order. Yeah, pre-order my ass. Listen, if it's free, listen, if it's free, and you want to try out a, a game on beta? Sure, you want to see what it's like. Right. But you're still testing their game for them. What's going? Do you know what old Blizzard had before it became dog shit? They used to have hundreds of people paid to play their games to test it for them. Do you guys listen? Do you remember fucking uh, Warcraft 2 beta? Do you remember Warcraft 2 Alpha? Remember that? No, of course you don't, because the games were finished then. Someone's going, like, yeah, but PC internet wasn't a thing then. Well, yeah, that's true. Go ahead. That stream was a job on Craigslist. Yeah, of course, they were paid. I know people who who got paid to test the games. Listen, and I wanna, I wanna tell you guys one thing. I, a lot of people that I've uh, seen in my chat and, and IRL or whatever, they're like, man, I would love to be paid to test those games. You would not, okay? All right, you would not. You know what, like, I remember when I was younger, people thought that when they pay to play games, you just go to the office and you're like, you know, you know you're playing StarCraft, you're playing one and one you know, you're having fun, you're making them siege things. You know what? Playing games for money. I mean, I don't mean I don't mean what I'm doing. I mean like testing games. You know what that uh, that how that works. I'll explain to you in StarCraft 2 terms, right? Let's say you're a paid StarCraft 2 game tester. You know what you do? You enter a room that's filled with computers. You got your own computer, and then for the next eight hours, you need to play campaign mission number one for eight hours. To make sure there's no bugs and then you come the next day and it gets better actually psych it doesn't you do the same fucking thing for eight hours again you play first mission of campaign for eight hours that's what game testing is that's how it works it's fucking boring it's terrible i know people that uh worked on or worked on tested uh world of warcraft stuff they would have to do the same quest like thousand times in, in the span of one week or something. Just same quest over and over to make sure the quest is not bugged. They had like a... What? Did I hear the Reaper shooting somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. But, uh... I know people that would do that for a while and they would just play like same quest for fucking a week straight. And the reason they did that is, you know, sometimes you do something accidentally like you pick up this item in a this way or you kill this unit instead of this unit, right? So they need that amount of testing to make sure there's no bugs. That's how it works, brothers. That's the vision, definition of insanity? Yeah, I mean, that that's the job. That's the thing, like, you gotta do that and make sure there's no bugs, and, um... I, I don't know how they do it these days. Like, I don't know if they have some fucking simulations they're running through that they don't even need people. Or, I mean, the simulations are the beta tests, right? Like, we are testing the games for them. That's what's happening. 
But uh, that's how it was. And then every time you notice something weird, like NPC moved in a weird way, or uh, opponents' marines didn't shoot, they fix it, and then you have to fucking replay that shit again. And it's not only you, it's not like you were the one guy testing, it's like 10, 20 people are doing the same thing. Life flights here. Good job, huh? It's a lot easier for him to play the second time when he knows exactly what I'm going to do. This just shows, like, this is the same guy I just beat, by the way. And now he's literally destroying me. Field. That's high. SCV ready. I 
add-on complete. Not enough minerals. Your force and Roll it. Love the series. D. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's hot. That's hot. Engine screaming. What's new, Papa Potato? Not enough minerals. Your forces are under attack. Not enough minerals. Receiving. I got. Not enough minerals. Loud and clear. I got my mineral field. Engine screaming. Receiving. Not 
base is under attack. Insufficient rescue gas. Insufficient rescue gas. Look. Add on. Complete. Confirmed. Go ahead. Your forces are under attack. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Insufficient best beam gas. Insufficient best beam gas. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, dude. Go 
Center upgrade complete. Big job. Instant. 
Your forces are under attack. Loud and clear. Receiving. Holla back. Insufficient rescue gas. Solo operative, right? Field depleted. Not enough minerals. Ben? Ah! You scared me! Mineral field depleted. Your forces are under attack. FTG ready. Ah! Mineral field depleted. Love the series. Not command center up. I got my ears on. Your forces are under attack. Nuclear missile ready. 
Go ahead. You sure about that? Come Your again. Your forces are under attack. Okay. Your Vest forces guys are under attack. Yeah, what? Big jump? Huh? In the rear with the gear. Call the ball. Nuclear missile ready. Engine is screaming. Your forces are under attack. Not enough minerals. Your forces are under attack. I got my ears on. Thank you very much and have a nice one. Are you sure about that? You know why that reaction out of all the nukes, that one is a boom? Because that's a game ender. And I know it, baby. When you land a fat one like that, you you know it's over! Was this premature leave by him? No. Th this is the beautiful thing about Starcraft. I knew and he knew at the exactly same time that the game was over. How many nukes did I land that game on his whole army? I didn't blink an eye. But that one... You called the wind and here comes the tornado. That's it? That's when you take a little sip. Dude. <gasps> Look at the army value. Bathe in that glory. Mm. I mean, we knew, like, I, initially I thought this series like, easy peasy, but it's getting actually really, like, it started off super easy. But, dude, it's getting really fucking hard. Like, it's getting really, really difficult. You know, I even said today, I, I think this, this one is, like, it's going to end in, like, 35, 40 games. Like, the thing is, I, I don't know how you guys perceive this series, but it's actually really hard on the micro. Because the the whole burrowing the Widow Mines, like, I'm shift-clicking everything in that game. And it's like, shift-clicking Widow Mines everywhere. I burrowed probably fucking 200 Widow Mines that game. Imagine this game played in ESL, it'll attract a lot of views. Well, also if I played this in ESL versus, uh, you know, top 50 GM, I would lose the first five minutes of the game. But... I don't know what that would attract, but... <clears throat> I thought I lost that game like three times. What was the economy like? Like, that's the thing, the economy I had better, but like... It's great I have better economy, but I don't have any units that I can kill him with. 